Well, we couldn't leave Napoli without playing one of our favourite games on CBS. Zona Mista in the mixer is back and there is no wrong answers, only your answers. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? Question number one, Gianfranco, who is, in your opinion, the best Serie A player of all time? Has to be Italian. Any Serie A player <laughs> in the well, league. Well, there's only one, one name it comes straight away, Maradona. Yeah. Are you all in agreement? Can you argue with that? Hey, oh, no, how, about that we, no, no, how about that we watched but Roberto Baggio. Oh, Roberto, we watched Baggio Roberto Baggio for me was, was always so, so amazing, so fun to watch. Classic number 10, inspirational player, player that made things look easy. Got to go with one of the Milan defenders that I watched plenty growing up, Paolo Maldini. Paolo Maldini, well, he was here tonight, wasn't he? Uh, so is Marco. Marco, who's yours? To be a little bit different and, and the guy... That... Francesco Totti at uh, Roma. The thing... The, the fact that he stayed at Rome, no matter what, for me, it's Totti. Totti, uh, the king of Rome, cutting and out there. I think that's who he said, though. Totti, yeah, is that yeah, who he right. said? Yeah, that's right. OK, next right, question. So if you could play for any coach in history, who would you play for? Probably Guardiola. Pep Guardiola, really? Do you any think coach? So? Any coach. Any coach. Uh, for me, Carlo Angelotti, just because how much he won and, and you know, the, the quiet leader on the, on the sideline, you know, not too, not too animated, but always in control and calm. It feels like a guy you would love to play for. <laughs> I'm just going to say any manager because I couldn't play football. It was what you call a bidone. So I'm not going to be picky. Just get me on a professional team. I'll be happy. I don't care if I'm the third string goalkeeper making this press on the touchline. That's good enough for me. Marco, honestly. who you got? I got to go with my man. I know he's not popular right now, but Antonio Conte. I want a guy no. that's telling me what to do. I for him. Third off, no, no matter what, he'd be the, he'd be the man for me. Hold on a second. You'd Everyone complains right about his training sessions. I've seen you run. I saw how much you were sweating <laughs> Bro, walking up the stairs run? to the hotel. <laughs> I saw the way you were sweating walking up the stairs in the hotel. There's no way you'd last an hour under Antonio Conte. <laughs> where where are you? You're That's on the other end of the pitch. you got to get here in five Sprint seconds over. if you want to play for Conte. Let's <laughs> see how fast you can get here. Okay, next question. Happy. Would you rather score a game-winning goal from open play or on a free kick? As long as I win, I don't mind. You're the free kick <laughs> what a, what a poli though. politician's answer. Come on, choose one. <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. The I don't care. As long as I put the ball in okay, the net. What kind of goal? What, what kind of right technique? Goal. No, okay. I I really liked, uh, you know, scoring from free kicks. It was, uh, I used to spend a lot of time, so obviously it was... Uh, it was uh, it was a uh, good satisfaction to score. From. When you stood up to take a free kick, did you have just a feeling yes. of how it was going to go before you'd even kick the ball? Yes, as soon as I hit the ball, I knew if I if I was going to score or not. Immediately before the ball reached the goal, I knew already if I uh, I was going to score or not. And I'm pretty sure everybody watching was probably half off their seat by the time you were running up to take a free kick, weren't they? Uh, let's take a look at one of your free kicks actually, because I think we've got it. How Look at that about technique. That. I mean, that's textbook stuff, right? Just up and Thrilling. over and dipping textbook down. Stuff you do that on the weekly? I do it in training and also in my dreams, but not in the, <laughs> the pitch. It was Barcelona, by the way. It was uh, the, I think it was the 18th in uh, in, the, in the Champions League. I remember that. What about you, Grella? I like to score goals in seven seconds. Yeah. Oh, as fast as you possibly can. As fast as you possibly can. Right? As you possibly Gianfranco, can. Yeah. How, how quickly have you scored a goal? Do you know off the top of your head what the fastest goal you've ever scored is? No. No, I don't think I scored uh, very quickly. I remember once Di Matteo after uh, 23 seconds in the FA Cup final, but uh, me, no, I didn't score very quickly. I scored right, a goal with you your card in five one, seconds <laughs> on FIFA. <so. laughs> that counts, doesn't it? All right, next question. If you could only eat either prosciutto di parma or mozzarella di bufala, which would you choose? Grella, you go first. Uh, la mozzarella. Mozzarella. Di bufala, yeah. Well, I mean, mozzarella di bufala and prosciutto di parma, they go along so well. So <laughs> why, why shouldn't I have the both? It's like, it's like the Italian uh, version of peanut butter and jelly, I guess, for the Americans, isn't it? Is that a good comparison? Uh, uh, no, it's not. And <laughs> please never say that again. Please never compare these two things to peanut butter and jelly. You can't do that, Poppy. I know that you know, the English, the food, it's, like it's the English very beans simple, the baked beans. Um, I'm going to go a little bit 
left field here. I'm going to go Parmigiano Reggiano. That's one thing I can never give up. It's my favorite thing. That's not the question. It's the he most, likes to make his I own care. rules of favorite. But yeah. I wanted it to be a bit more interesting. You can put it with anything. No. Dessert, savory, the most versatile Marco, food. Marco, play by the rules. What are you going for? I feel like I should veto the question after you just compared it to peanut butter and jelly. Or beans on sure. toast. That's even better. No, mozzarella. I, I could eat that every single night and I'll never get tired of it. It's so good. All right. Next question. If you could live anywhere in the world, Gianfranco, where would you live? Oh, uh, anywhere. Anywhere in Sardinia, where I live right now. So I wouldn't change it with anything. But to be honest, California is, uh, is a good place. Sounds like you can't be Sardinia. What have you got, well, He was telling me earlier a lot about Sardinia and how beautiful it is. So uh, probably Sardinia. Everyone talks about Sardinia, one of the most beautiful places in the world. But Long Island, uh, where I'm actually from, is, is a close second in the summers for sure. Good you people as well. You're comparing Long yeah. Island to Sardinia? I'm not sure many people would There's agree with that. There's some awful comparisons on this PB&J <laughs> to what we just saw, the prosciutto di Parma. Stanford, Connecticut? I was about how to about say, that, if Bobby? you want to frustrate Marco, how about that? Stanford, Connecticut, we've got Long Island and Sardinia. Where are you going? I don't know what's worse, uh, Stanford, Connecticut or the Long Island choice, but I'm going Florence in Italy. I feel like it's the most beautiful city. Uh, you can walk everywhere. It's got art. It's got history. It's got culture. The food is some of the best. So that, that's a real answer, right? I'll, I'll tell along you, with Sardinia. I'll tell you what's worse, Marco, is when you're from Stanford, Connecticut and live in Stanford, Connecticut, and you say you're just outside the city. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's from New York. She says she's watching. from New York. You're 45 I heard minutes that. away. I heard that's that on so the close, isn't it? People know where New York is. Don't know, so how, about, how about this one? How about this one? She's from Notting, born in Nottingham, and she goes, Jets outside London. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just an hour outside of London on the train. Uh, if you could be champion of any sport, but it can't be soccer, what would you be a champion of, Gianfranco, if you could play another sport and be the world's best at it? Well, right now, I say golf. I love it. There's, there's not many nicer things is there than spending time on the golf course. You could be the next Gareth Bale, leaving football and, and going to play professional golf. Yeah, th this time you took my answer. You know, Masters is around the corner next week. We, we have Masters on, the C on CBS. And, and so golf for me, it's something that I've taken up after football. I love so much. I would love to be the next Tiger Woods or Jack Nicklaus. Still time, Grella. I've <laughs> seen your so. swing though. Maybe I'm going to go for something where you don't make any money, but pickleball. I've taken it up in my old age. <laughs> right. I love it. It's the only sport I'm actually good at. So pickleball, I think, is what I'm going to play until my last day. How do you rate your chances, Marco, against uh, Matteo at pickleball? I, I think there's not a sport Matteo can beat me in besides basketball. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that'll have his height advantage uh, on me. No, not pickleball. I'm going to go, I never thought I would say this, and I don't know why it popped into my head, but I'm going to choose boxing. If I could be a boxing champ, I would choose that. I don't know why, because well, I'm not a fighter. I don't have it inside reach. me, so I would love that feeling. The next Rocky Marciano. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to come and knock you out first, girl. Who is You're backing be my first Marco opponent. in a fight? I'm definitely not you. What's that? Backing Marco in a fight. He's our golden know. retriever. I don't know. He's getting bigger and stronger. His suits don't even fit him anymore. He's in the gym all the time. You guys just said if I could choose. That's why I'm saying I can't do it, so I would be a boxing champ. You're too pretty for that, I think. <laughs>